All right, what's going on everybody? Jason, uh, part two, I'm gonna actually build the sump itself, put the baffles in. Uh, this is the piece of plastic that I got. I just happened to have this for free. I got it from work. It was laying, it was in our like our back shop area. My boss said I could have it. And I figured I'd probably need it someday, and I do. So that's good. Uh, it's quarter inch thick plastic. I don't know if it's acrylic, but it's all white. Um, it just still has kind of the, the backing on it, so. Uh, the baffles aren't going to be transparent, but oh well. Uh, you know, the tank is still transparent. I will be able to see in, not a big deal. Uh, so I have all my baffles measured and marked. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out with my circular saw. I got a 40 tooth blade on it, hopefully it works. We're going to find out real quick whether this works or not. Uh, but I'm dropping all my baffles by two inches. Uh, I read a lot of your comments on my last video. Um, I'm definitely taking some of your advice. I was worried about my baffles being too high and when I shut off my system that the water that comes back into the sump might overflow it too much. So um, I'm knocking all my baffles down two inches. Should be fine. So uh, I'm going to get the saw and start cutting. All right, guys, I got all my baffles cut over here. Um, in case any of you are wondering, I use the 40 tooth carbide blade for actually technically a plywood blade. Uh, it's 40 tooth. Uh, cut through, cut quarter inch stuff, really nice. No problems. Now this is quarter inch. Uh, I don't know if this is actually plex acrylic or plastic, but uh, cut through it really nice. I've got all these labeled um, the size. I'm probably going to have to modification yep I'm gonna have to sand off a little bit of the edge to get these to fit um, but I wanted to do that I cut them slightly big better too big than too small otherwise I would have screwed it up so so I'm gonna take these over to my 1 by 30 and I'm just gonna take off a little bit of time and dry fit them get them to the correct size before and so I can go ahead and silicone them in guys I'm all done fine-tuning these baffle pieces the ones that are gonna sit at the bottom I sanded just a little round spot because that's where the silicone curves at the bottom of the tank so you want this to sit flush you got to sand or round the edges just slightly uh, so I did that to the three that are gonna be sitting on the bottom and I've got quite the mess uh, I'm going to take the baffles in, peel off the backing, wash everything really good, really good. I uh, went to uh, Home Depot, I got some of this DAP, all purpose, 100% silicone, says right on here, aquarium safe. So uh, hopefully that's all the silicone I need, I don't think I'll need all that, uh, there's only five baffles. So I'm just going to go clean everything really good, I got to find something a couple of two inch blocks to raise some of my baffles in the air when I silicone them. But uh, yeah, let's go do it. 